Hey YouTube, it's Justin answering your questions at joincfe.com slash knock. This question comes from Nelson. Nelson asks about asynchronous programs or asynchronous apps. So what asynchronous apps do is they load in the background, basically. So when you're when you're working on an app and you like press a button, sometimes if you're on a website, sometimes the page reloads, right? You can actually see the page reload. It goes away and then it comes back. Um, this is very clear like when you do a Google search and then you click on a link, more than likely the actual link, once you click on the link, the that page is gonna reload and then there's gonna be some loading done. That is a synchronous load. Asynchronous is much closer to like a YouTube subscribe. So if you click on YouTube subscribe, which I recommend you do, um, it actually runs asynchronously, right? It actually, you click on it and then something happens that you no longer see, it like the page doesn't reload, it just works just fine. So Nelson was asking if he can use Django for this or does he use Django Celery or something like Node.js. Now, let's keep in mind that Django is a backend system, right? So with it being a backend system, what you need to create is what's called a RESTful API. So once you have an API or something that the front end can work it with, it can work with the back end and it can work with that asynchronously or synchronously. It doesn't actually matter. It, the back end is not the reason that a synchronous request would happen. The synchronous request happens because of what happens on the front end, which in some cases Django does do synchronous requests. Sometimes by default, it doesn't necessarily do Ajax. So what you'd wanna do with Django in particular is using Django and the Django REST framework to build a RESTful API service so you can do Ajax. Ajax is the term that allows you to do an asynchronous request. Um, so Ajax being um, JavaScript using JavaScript to actually run the request for you instead of the browser clicks or the standard HTML requests. Um, JavaScript actually handles that for you. So hopefully that answers your question, Nelson. Um, if you have more questions, please ask them at joincfe.com slash knock. Thanks for watching.